I'm just letting y'all know. I'm gonna be smiling a lot because I'm super happy right now. I'm just letting y'all know. Why? Huh? Why are you happy? I love the win. <laughs> Hey, Sakai, Coach told us you were a little banged up this week. You know, didn't practice very much. You know, how, you know, how tough was it? Did, did, did you just kind of get loose as the game goes on, or did you feel like you found it in the second half? Which you uh, uh, Even though I wasn't practicing as much, I still was doing stuff on the sidelines, still moving around, trying to be as mobile as I can, even though I'm not physically practicing with the team. So I don't think it was just I was felt more active during game time, but it was just – Maybe adrenaline, and my teammates got me going. So that's really all I can put it to my teammates. Jake and David. The guy there in the second half, when Robert came down the floor, the crowd just got louder and louder. What's it like being on defense in those moments and, and hearing it grow the more you guys are able to produce? Oh, uh, that's just giving us a boost. Like we got another teammate on the floor, and that just makes us feel like, oh, now we know we're definitely gonna get a stop right now. Zakai, when y'all were making the run, you know, Bruce Pearl, after they lost to Florida last week, said they've become too reliant on Jabari. Even though he's a special player, could you sense that they were looking to him, and was that kind of a cool feeling that y'all had this balanced attack, and, and they were kind of looking for the same guy over and over again when the shot clock was getting late? Oh, yeah, we knew that they were going to go to him, and they kept going to him. I've seen in their past games that they didn't, so once I've seen that they were doing that, we easily knew what the game plan was, but... We just knew on defense, like, just lock in no matter who has the ball, no matter who's taking the shot. And I give it to Jabari. He's a really good player. He took some tough shots and made some tough ones. But we know what we had, what we had to do. Mike Van West. So, Kai, what's Brady giving you the past couple games that, that he wasn't earlier in the season? Uh, I think his energy and just the connection that we have with him off the court, uh, that that's all. We, we know the confidence we have in him, and it's – Obviously now it's showing, but that that's how guy he just brings a, a different type of energy. Whether it's him scoring, uh, it's him rebounding, it's him getting a steal, maybe it's, no matter what it is, he just brings a different type of energy. So I know that your recruitment got started kind of late, and I'm not sure how many if any visits you you really took. But in terms of this kind of atmosphere, playing in this building, you know, had you seen anything, you know, in your life to compare? I don't know if you ever you know gone to the garden or wherever growing up. I mean. Do you have any idea how loud it would be? No. I actually, my teammate had asked me earlier uh, that I think I ever was going to play in front of a crowd like this. I said, no. He was like, all right, show him why you you were supposed to play in front of it. Uh, maybe the largest crowd before this was maybe 500 people I played in front. So coming to this, it's, it's amazing. It's a different feeling. Coach Barnes said that during one of the timeouts that he told the team, if you will pick it up, play good defense, the crowd will get into it. Talk about that and the response the team had to, to that message. Uh, we wasn't having our best shooting game, so we knew one way or another we had to get ourselves going, whether it was just attacking the basket and cutting and moving. So uh, we could, we saw that we couldn't get it going on offense as much as we usually do. So we knew we had to pick it up on defense, and it sure enough changed the game for us. And the crowd? Oh, and the crowd was amazing. They they gave us that extra boost. Like even, even when Auburn did come down to score, it felt like they didn't. So that the crowd played a huge part of in this game. Ben McCarthy. So Kai, in the middle of the game, was Auburn's length giving y'all issues, and then kind of what changed for you all to find an offensive rhythm there in the game? Uh, honestly, it was just I feel like it was us just standing around, being one on one players, uh, just attacking, throwing up crazy shots, and not doing what we usually do. So second half came back around, and we we knew we just had to do exactly what we needed to do, and that's what we did. I got two questions. I'll start with this one first. Uh, you know, just how much fun was it celebrating with the win uh, with the students and you know, everything after the game? Uh, it was great. I didn't even get to run into the crowd. I tried to run, and this man right here grabbed me. But <laughs> it was. It, I'll see all those guys later. But it's just gonna be a, it's a crazy feeling. Words cannot explain how Rocky Top is. Well, the second one. Uh, I don't know if you saw, but Tennessee head baseball coach Tony Vitello was wearing a jersey of yours. Did you see that? And yeah, I, after the game, I hugged him, and I did not know that was him. And then everybody was showing me, like, oh, no, this is the baseball coach, right? This is the baseball coach. I was like, oh, man, I just gave him a hug. I didn't know who he was. <laughs> Mike? Oh, you do that? Okay. Thank you, though. Oh, Grant, I'm sorry. I knew there was one down there. You're a little bit sick. So, kind of the three you hit to tie it, the, the big shots you've hit this year, where does that kind of fall in? Uh, I feel like it just falls in play of 
not feeling like there's any pressure. Even though the, I would say the intensity will be up, but it's just we're doing the same thing we do in practice. It's just more people watching. That's how I look at it. So I don't want to say it's too much pressure. It's another shot. All right, Scott, thank you. Sorry for putting you on ESPN.